Hey guys. Um, alright. I don't normally make these videos because I tend to ramble and I hate that. Um, and, uh, but I had to make this one video this way because I had a really unusual vision last night. Um, and I don't think I can write it out and have it make sense. I need to, I need to verbally explain it to you. Um, first I just want to explain it. I don't, I don't want you guys to be afraid. I, there's a lot of people that are, um, have a lot of fear. Um, I don't, I don't like that. I don't want that. And I'm not trying to perpetuate fear at all. I'm just, um, I want to explain to you. And then the other thing is like there, I, you know, some people ask me, well, how do you know the difference between, and you're saying all these things, you're saying that, you know, you know that somebody is sending images to your brain. You know that while you sleep, you know that they're influencing your brain. You're having these visions. How do you know the difference between um um like what's the difference between a vision and a dream and what's the difference between a synthetic dream and a real dream I know it sounds complicated I'm trying to make it simple um and honestly I don't I mean I don't even have I don't have all the answers I don't even have half the answers but I'll tell you what I do know um as far as I know for a fact that somebody was influencing my dreams last year in October because um they were zapping my body at the same time that they would like when I was sleeping when I go to sleep at night um I would um I would have there would like be an image sent to my brain and I could tell that it wasn't a real dream because it <clears throat> it just didn't um it didn't look it wasn't the same as a real dream it was it was like an image um sorry about the background noise um it looked like something you'd see on a video screen, whereas in a real dream, you you feel like it's real. I mean, it seems real to you. But with this thing that was happening, um, they would like they would send like an image that looked just like you were looking at a video screen, and <clears throat> it didn't seem real at all. And like I just as an example, this one time they like zapped. They would, they would send, I'm, you know, and I'm not going to give you that example. I'm just going to tell you. They would, like, send me an image, and then they'd zap my body to, to, like, coincide with the image. So I knew something, somebody was using technology against me. And I've been attacked for the past 15 years, and I couldn't figure out why. And I still don't really know why they're attacking me, um, why they're harassing me, because it's not just me being attacked at night while I'm sleeping. And actually, the the attacks at night didn't start until last year, or at least I didn't know about it until last year. Um, I mean, they've been harassing me for like over 15 years. It's called I'm a targeted individual. It's like I don't I don't know I don't know who they are. I don't know why they're doing it. I haven't done anything to anybody. So um, anyway, what? To get to how I know what the difference is, um, in October when they started attacking me like this, I started praying because I was, I had gone to the government for help I because I knew I was being attacked. I mean, they were electrocuting me in my bed, guys. <laughs> like, when that happens to you it, you, it wakes you up, you know what I mean? It, like, it... I don't just mean it literally wakes you up in the middle of the night. I mean like it wakes you up spiritually where you're like, uh, something's going on here. It's not normal and um, it's not me imagining it. It's real. So, you know, for those of you that haven't experienced it, good. I hope you never have to experience it, but I'm not making this crap up. Okay, um, I'm telling you the truth, because um, if it ever does, does happen to you, then you'll know. You'll be able to go, oh yeah, I remember that girl talking about that, and then you'll know um, that you're not going crazy. It's just, anyway, so let me just 
tell you this vision I had. Before I tell you that, just to explain to you, I started praying, and I was praying like I've never prayed before in my life. I was so scared. I was so freaked out by what was going on. And I had gone to the government, and I had gone to my family, and I had gone to all my – I swear to you, I, I emailed like every single friend I ever knew, and I was like, this is happening to me. I don't know what's going on. Please help. Well, nobody helped me. Like, everybody was just like, you're crazy, basically. Um, and I was like, no, I'm not. This is really happening. Someone is zapping me and electrocuting me. And um, anyway, long story short, I only had one other option, pray. I mean, that was it. That was all I could do. I had to pray. I had gone to government. I contacted Ted Gunderson, and then he died. I mean... I don't even know if he was going to help me anyway. I think his email was hacked into because I got the weird, weird emails from him. Um, weird. Like, I don't think, I think his email was hacked into before he died. And they killed him. I mean, there's no question about it. He was, like, all over that Illuminati stuff. I mean, he was just like, what's going on? Something's going on. He was the chief of the FBI in Los Angeles, you guys. <laughs> okay. And he was saying this, that there was really crazy, weird stuff going on. Um, and why? Because there is crazy word stuff going on. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I was praying because that was the only thing I could do because nobody was helping me. And that's when, that's when I started seeing the visions that the angels are showing me and they <coughs> were showing me something in the sky, objects in the sky. So that's that, right? So the difference between the dreams and the visions, first of all, the difference between a real dream and a synthetic dream is like I told you, the synthetic dreams don't are do not seem like real dreams. They're different. It seems like you're looking at a video screen. They zap your body at the same time a lot of times, or they'll talk in your head while you're sleeping. Like you might halfway wake up and hear somebody talking in your head, but then once you wake up you don't hear it anymore and you're like, Oh, it's just a dream. Um I mean, I used to think it was just a dream, too, but now I realize, no, they're actually able to, because it's something with the frequencies, your brain frequencies while you're asleep are different from your brain frequencies while you're awake. And somehow they're able to send information, just like you send information to a television, just like you send information to a cell phone, they're also in, able to send information to your brain, but your brain has to be at a certain frequency in, in order to receive. Get what I'm saying? So, like... With me, for some reason, I only, they're only able to, like, send these frequencies to me while I'm in deep sleep. So, like, I don't know, it might be different for other people. I'm just saying it has something to do with the frequency of your brain. What brain, so freaking weird. And honestly, I don't even want to know about this crap. I swear to you, it's, this is, like, the last thing I was ever interested in in my life. Um... But I was, like, forced into it because it was happening to me. And I couldn't, like, I couldn't, you know, what am I going to do? I have to protect myself. So I need to know what the hell is going on. So anyway, that's that, okay? So if you're having, you know, if you're having a synthetic dream, you're going to know, like, that it's not quite right. When they talk into your head, you're not going to know that because you're totally asleep when they do that. And you might hear it, like, partially when you're starting to wake up. When they do that, they can influence your real dreams. It's not like they're sending you an image, but they influence your real dreams so that they can, like, lead you. You know what I'm saying? And they do interrogations that way. They can interrogate you while you're sleeping. They do it to me. It's so ridiculous. I hate it. Anyway, because I've never done anything wrong. I've never done anything. I don't even hurt bugs. Okay, okay. I've never done anything to anybody, so it's total bolt that they're doing this crap to me. It really makes me mad. So I was praying, and um, that's when I started seeing the visions. It was like it was October of last year. I started seeing these visions. I saw a vision of something hitting the earth. Some of you have sent, some people have sent me messages. Um, you know, saying they think maybe this asteroid's going to hit the moon or whatever. I've never seen a vision of the asteroid hitting the moon ever. I've seen several visions of an asteroid hitting the Earth. So I'm just going to tell you that. Other thing, some of you that have been like paying attention to my visions know that they're actually coming true. 
some of them are. Um, that's the only reason why I'm even bothering you guys with this stuff. Believe me, I don't get rewarded for telling people my visions. I get attacked. So why would I do something like that unless I knew for a fact that the visions were coming true? So like those of you that actually pay attention and go back and you, you look at my video that I uploaded on October 13th. Jesus showed me a vision of he was all bundled up. And this was before the snow hit. He was all bundled up. And he was chopping wood and, um, and all this stuff. And then I had the dream that night that was an authentic dream. And it coincided with my vision. And that was the other reason that I knew that it was an authentic because it coincided with my vision and it was not. But just so I can say this, I still, my own personal thought is I don't put as much stock in my dreams as I do my visions. And also it says in the Bible, ye are children of the day and to stay awake. And, and my personal interpretation of that is it means that if you're having waking visions while you're awake, that's more authentic than anything you're dreaming at night while you're asleep. Because while you're asleep, your brain waves are different and they can influence you while you're asleep. But I'm sorry, I, I know that's going to like bother people, but I'm just telling you the way I see it. And I've got to be straight with you. I don't have time to, to mess around and try to make everybody happy. I just got to tell you the way I see it. Um, so, and my own experiences and, um, from my own experiences, the visions that Jesus is showing me and Jesus is a real, he's a real person guys. It's not, um, there's a lot of angels. There's more than, it, it's more than just Jesus, but, um, he's real. And, um, I don't understand how it works. I think that they are able to travel through time. I mean, that's what God, you know, God made time. So uh, obviously the angels are able to travel through time. Um, the visions, I don't see them with my eyes, my physical eyes. I see the visions through my mind, which I think is my pineal gland. So it's like, um, it's not like... <sighs> Um, it's not a hallucination. It's something that I don't even believe in hallucinations, by the way. I'm sorry if some of you do, but I just don't. I don't believe that. If you're seeing something with your two eyes, then you are detecting light waves, period, end of story. If you're seeing something with your physical eyes, you are detecting light waves. That's what the physical eyes do. They detect light so if you're detecting light waves, the, there is a source of those light waves. Okay? So this whole thing about some people see things that aren't really there, no. That's not possible. Okay? If you're seeing something with your two eyes, you're detecting light. Period. Um, now, you know, some people may just you know, their brain is like damaged or whatever, and they don't know whether they're actually seeing something or not. That's a different story. But if you're seeing something with your two eyes, then it's there. Okay? You're detecting light, and you can't detect light unless there's a source. What I'm talking about with these visions, this is not something I'm seeing with my physical eyes. This is something I see with my pineal gland. It's a totally different. Okay? I just wanted to like, I just want to explain that for like people that are that don't understand what this is, because um, people get so fearful, and I don't like that. I don't like people to be afraid, you know, because people are fearful of what they don't understand. It scares them because they think if they don't understand it, they don't know what it is. It could be a threat. I promise you, I'm not a threat to you in any way. I don't even hurt bugs. Okay, <laughs> so and I would never ever say something to to scare you like as that is not my thing I have a filter on my videos because I don't even want my face on YouTube really okay only reason I'm doing this is because the angels told me to tell people 